Hi, today I'll show you how to get started with Surfshark. We'll cover the purchasing process, how to set up Surfshark on various devices, and much more. And for extra information, check the description of the video for links to our written tutorial articles. To get started, Surfshark requires an active subscription, which you can purchase by going to your browser and visiting Surfshark.com. Then here, just select Get Surfshark, and you'll see the different plans on offer, such as Starter, one and one plus. The starter plan includes Surfshark VPN and alternative ID. Surfshark one plan includes Surfshark one features such as an antivirus, an alert and search. And Surfshark one plus includes everything from the previous plans plus data removal services from Incogni. Once you select your plan, enter your email, which you'll be using for Surfshark and choose your preferred payment method. Different payment providers will appear based on your region. Also keep in mind that if you are paying with cryptocurrency, it will take up to 24 hours to process your payment. If you have a coupon code, you can apply it here by entering it into this box on the right. Once the payment is completed, you'll be taken to a new page to create your password. And that's it. That you're a Surfshark user now. Congrats. With an active Surfshark subscription, you can now start setting up your devices. First, let's set up your smartphone. On an iPhone, you can download the Surfshark app from the Apple App Store. And for an Android, you can get it from the Google Play Store. On the store, just type in Surfshark into the search bar and it should appear first on the list. And then you can just click install. Now, if you have a desktop or a laptop computer, you can also download the Surfshark app. For Windows, you can download a .exe installer file from the Surfshark website account page, or the app is also available on the Microsoft Store if you prefer that method. For Mac OS, you can either download a .dmg installer file, again, from the account page, or you can also get the app from the Apple App Store, similarly to how you can do on iOS. By the way, Surfshark is also available on Linux with a fully featured GUI if you want to download that version. In case you don't like installing apps or need to only secure your browser, then a great alternative is to install and use the Surfshark browser extension. It's available on Chrome, Firefox, and Edge. Again, this option is great if you're only looking to secure your browser, as then it's easy to access Surfshark whenever you need it in this extension menu here. It's also an excellent option if you do not have admin rights to install the app. One thing to keep in mind, however, is that you should never be connected to the VPN on the app and the extension at the same time, as that can cause connection issues. So just use one or another at any given time. If you want to set up Surfshark on your smart TV, you have a few options. First is if you have a TV that has Android 5.0 or later, you can install the Surfshark app like you would on other devices. Just go to the Google App Store and search for the app and that's it. Same goes if you own an Apple TV with tvOS 17 or later. Now, if your TV doesn't support the Surfshark app, then the best solution would be to use an Amazon Fire TV stick or Google Chromecast, which you can plug into your TV via the HDMI port. On these devices, you can actually download and use the Surfshark app, so it would essentially add a VPN to your smart TV. Of course, if you have a Mac computer or a Windows PC nearby, you can also just connect it to your TV and use it that way. One other method to use Surfshark is to set it up on your VPN supported router. This adds a ton of convenience since each device connected to your router's Wi-Fi network will automatically be using Surfshark. However, if you plan on doing this, it's very important to check if your router supports a VPN. It's easiest to check online by just typing in your full router model and seeing the specifications page for more details. From there, just follow your router's model's tutorial guide on how to set up Surfshark on it, and you should be good to go. But that's pretty much it on everything you need to know on how to get started with Surfshark. We do have more videos coming up explaining the various Surfshark features and settings, so stay tuned for that. Also, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll make sure to answer them as soon as possible or check out Surfshark's Help Center page, which I'll link in the description below, along with some other useful guides. But that's all for now. Take care.